Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report Podcast with Lee Brickeen. Hi, everyone. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Brickeen. Today's show, we have a really in-depth show today, which is going to be the third team, all Louisiana team, North, offense. That's right, the third team all Louisiana North offense. It's going to be a long show. There are a lot of players. And this is going to be the the final segment of North Louisiana's third. We've already done the second team offense defense. This is going to be our, our third team offense. We've already done the third team defense. Um you know, and next week, actually, we're probably going to be able to start the second team south offense this Thursday. It's a lot of players. This is seniors only. I always say seniors only, no juniors. It'd be too many to, to list if we had juniors, too. It'd probably be another 500 kids. There's no way we could do that. Uh, and this is scouting players. The last three to four years, statewide, uh, watching these kids in person or on huddle, full game film, not highlight film, but full game film. And we're going to do each segment. We're going to change, you know, each position by segment. It'll be fun. You know, I'm doing this for the kids. I'm doing this for the parents, the coaches, the schools. And this, these are shows, if, if not... Everybody would probably want to maybe listen to it if you're not into recruiting. But I think a lot of people are. And I think you get to learn a lot about the state, a lot about these kids, a lot about how much talent's in Louisiana to respect the state. And I'm just not coming up with just everybody. These are really good football players. Uh, and third team players are a lot of guys that could go D3 or D2, junior college or prep schools. Some might walk on 1AA and even walk on D1. But let's go ahead and start in this segment. Let's start with quarterbacks. And we don't have that many for the third team. We've got two kids that I really like a lot. They're late bloomers. Both of these kids are very late bloomers. They're, they're guys under the radar. The first kid is out of Bastrop, Louisiana, Bastrop High School. His name is Zai Zi Scott. 6'1", about 205, 210, big guy. Built like a linebacker. Has a good arm. Can run if needed, but more more like a 4740. You know, more of a guy that, that's really a pocket guy that has a really, like I said, a really strong arm. And he, he split time with a senior last year, Katerius Johnson, who was... Also a big guy. He's about he was about six one, about two thirty five. So he's only got a year experience, full time, in two thousand twenty. You can also uh, this kid is also a great baseball player. He's on the baseball team at the high school. Still learning the position, but this big guy can can really play the game. He's got a great arm. And I think he would be a great Division II or Division III signee. It could also move to, to possibly linebacker, you know, if, if he doesn't uh, play quarterback. He's a big guy. The other kid I want to talk about, who I think is a big-time quarterback, and he can also be an athlete at other positions. This kid is amazing. His name is Coleman Beeson. He's a quarterback at Bossier City High School in Bossier City, Louisiana. Coleman, in 2019, threw for close to 800 yards and 10 touchdowns in a wing T offense. They had their first playoff season since 2012 and 2019. This year he had another good year. And here's a kid that's been through a lot and, and – had tragedy early in his life and has overcome a lot. He lost his dad who 
passed away, who was the defensive coordinator at Bozier High School. And not only is Beeson becoming a talented quarterback, but he also plays three other sports for his school, soccer, baseball, and wrestling. Not, not the common thing that you would mention with a football player to be on the wrestling team, soccer team, and baseball team. He's a great young man, Coleman Beeson. You know, he's a big kid, 6'2", about 175, 180. And I, I like this kid a lot. I think he's a great athlete. He runs about a 4'6", 9", 4'7", but he's very, very athletic. Very smart, got a good arm. And he's a kid that could end up bulking up to about 200 pounds in college. And staying at quarterback for the right school or could become a receiver or free safety. He's a heck of an athlete. He's, he's, he's a great, great kid. Bossier City High School, Coleman Beast. And, again, he's play, he plays four sports. Incredible. Has overcome a lot, again, this kid's really, really got a great future. And he, he might end up playing soccer in college. You know, he might play baseball. He might um, play one of those sports and not football. We're going to continue on with athletes. We're going to start with Lane Little from West Monroe High School in West Monroe, Louisiana. Lane Little is a guy that could be a, a, a different position player in college. In 2019, he was not supposed to start, but they had an injury to the starting quarterback, and he had to had to learn how to play the position really fast. He's a great athlete playing quarterback, basically. He runs about a 4.6940, but I think he'd be a slot receiver in college or a strong safety or quarterback for some smaller colleges. The, the quarterback that got hurt his junior year was Garrett Cayman, who ended up signing with ULM of Monroe last year. But what Lane Little did to help West Monroe was incredible in 19. He's got a, you know, a really good ability to, to, to play many positions. Like I said, he ran for over almost 500 yards his junior year and five touchdowns about 570 yards passing, which they don't really throw the ball a lot, which is really good, five touchdowns. But I think Southeastern, ULM, Northwestern State, McNeese State, those are some of his favorite colleges. And here's a kid who squats 350 pounds, stands six foot one, about 185. But he's also a talented baseball player as a left-handed pitcher for the Rebels baseball team. Don't don't forget the name, Lane Little. He's a good, really good athlete that could be at a D2, D3 school for football but could be at a 1AA or higher school for baseball. Another kid that I want to talk about as an athlete that I think is an incredible player, his name is John Small from Marksville High School. John plays quarterback for Marksville at 5 foot. Nine, about 175 pounds. Runs about a 4.5940. He looks faster in the uniform, though. I've seen this kid play a few times. I think he could be a, a great slot receiver in college or even a cornerback on defense. John did a great job. He's had over 3,000 yards passing the last couple of years combined and over 600 yards rushing combined the last two years. In addition to football, he also is on the track team. He runs the 4x4 four four and the 4x800 four meter relays. He also plans on playing baseball for his high school team as well at Marksville. He's received some NAIA offers, which is smaller than D3, but he grew up liking LSU. When going to college, he wants to major in business. And in the weight room, for a guy that's not that big, he squats 330 pounds and power cleans 255. Another great athlete that I think is under the radar at Oak Grove High School is Kelvin Holloway. 
Kelvin's about five foot nine, five ten, about 160 pounds, and he can he can run. <laughs> this guy's really fast. He could play many positions in college. He could play receiver. He could play corner. He could be a punt and kick returner in special teams. And he's been starting since his freshman season in high school. He looks faster than his 40 time. I think he runs about a 4-6-40, but he looks like a 4-4. He's continuing the family tradition because he's the younger brother of Cameron Holloway who played quarterback at Oak Grove. And his brother led the Tigers to a Class 1A state championship. Kelvin did last year in 2019. He starts on both sides of the football as a receiver and a defensive back. I like this kid a lot. I think if he goes to a D3 school or a D2 school, he'll be a superstar. Another athlete in the Monroe area from Washita Christian High School, Dylan Dugan. Dylan plays running back and defensive back for Washita Christian. And he's one of the fastest players on the team. And this is a team that's got a chance to win a state title. And I think he'd make a really good safety, actually, in college from watching him play. I really like Dylan's toughness. And here's a kid that's going to have a lot of chances to go play Division II or Division Three football. Another great athlete, more in the Shreveport area, is Haynesville High School, Kedrick Greider. Kedrick's about 5'9", 175 pounds. Played everywhere for his team last season in 19. He was a running back, a linebacker, a strong safety. In 19, he had 55 tackles, seven tackles for loss, one fumble recovery, and two interceptions on defense. And he ran the ball for 637 yards and eight touchdowns. That was in 2019. He's had a good 220 as well. He's also in the basketball and, ba and track teams at Haynesville High School. His dream schools are Kansas, Mississippi State, Louisiana Tech, Arkansas, and TCU. He's quoted as saying to us in college, I'm looking for a good education and athletic opportunities. I want a chance to earn my degree and a shot to play at the next level in the NFL. He wants to major in kinesiology. His future goal is to become a coach. Runs a 4-5 in the 40. Bench is 240 pounds. His favorite NFL player is Tyron Matthew, the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk more about athletes in North Louisiana, our third team, all Louisiana team offense. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. We're talking about the third team, all Louisiana team, North offense. This will be the last time we talk about anything in, up north as far as our third or second team this is our final segment of doing the offense we're going to continue on with athletes we've got a kid from Northwood Lena High School right outside of Natchitoches his name is Denzel Baines six foot three 180 pounds Denzel plays Everywhere for Northwood Lena. He's played some quarterback, receiver, DB, linebacker. He's a kid that's tall. He's athletic, and he's going to fill out at the next level. He's just a late bloomer. And I think he would be a D2 or D3 steal or might even go to a junior college. Another player in North Louisiana around Monroe is at Tinsall High School is Dusty Jefferson. I saw Dusty in 2019 play, very gifted, raw player. It's hard to tell what he'll grow into, but it's, when it's all said and done, I think he'll be 6'1", probably 220, 230. Runs about a 4'8", you know, probably when he gets that heavy. Right now he's about a 4'7". 
He's more of a tight end or a defensive end for college, for a small college. Head coach Quentin Powell stated that he's going to make sure Dusty Jefferson was a key piece this year, and he was. He hasn't received any offers, but he does like Louisiana Tech and ULM. He's quoted as saying to us that he would want to play somewhere he can live up to his expectations and accomplish his dreams as well as his future goals. He might even consider going junior college, he said, in the end. He's a really good football player. Another player from Tinsall Academy, not Tinsall High School, is a guy by the name of Chris Davis. Chris is the team starting running back, runs a legit 4-5, does a great job. Could be a slot receiver in college. Could be a strong safety. Has very good hands. And I think he could be a 1-double-A guy. Could be a D1 guy at the right school. He's about 6 foot, 190 pounds. Another really good player that I like out of Natchitoches Central, Devin Soul. 5'10", about 160, 165. Devin is a is a very good athlete for Natchitoches Central High School. He's got a nice burst hitting the hole as a running back. He could also be a cornerback in college. He has 4'5 speed. He not only plays football for Natchitoches Central, but he also runs track as well. He's actually one of the best track athletes in the state as he can long jump an impressive 22 feet. In addition, he's also a basketball player. He hasn't received any offers, but his dream schools are LSU, Florida State, Mississippi State, and Alabama. He's going to be majoring in business when he goes to college. He also enjoys taking pictures as a hobby and even modeling. Go ahead, Devin. Another great Athlete in the state is Timothy Anderson. Not a big guy, but he's a, he's a good football player at Booker T. Washington in Shreveport. Timothy Anderson. He's five foot five, about one hundred and sixty two pounds. He is super fast. Has it four four legit speed. Looks four two. He's a running back and punt returner for the team. He's also a DB. If somebody gives him a chance. I think he would be a great great athlete at the D2 or D3 level. Another great small player from Homer High School who's been playing for four years, Xavier Webb, about 5'6", about 155. Tremendous speed in the open field. I saw this for myself in 2019. He plays receiver, corner, and running back for Homer. Explosive playmaker for the Pelicans. He runs a 21 in 200 meters in track, which is smoking. He has no offers, but he's open to any college that will give him a chance to play football. Another great player that's under the radar for small colleges is Gregory, Gregory Medley from Madison around Monroe. 6'1", about 170. Can play cornerback or wide receiver in college. Runs a legit 4'5 in the 40. I think a big-time sleeper. Another player who I saw play this year at a school that you don't even hear about, Harley, in Shreveport, Magnolia School of Excellence in Shreveport, Cameron Douglas. Cameron Douglas, remember that name. He's, a, he's an offensive guy for them. He plays defense. He's about 6 foot, 187 pounds. Legit 4'6 and a 40. Could be a strong safety. Could be a receiver. Could be a free safety. I think he's a diamond in the rough. Another great football player out of Oak Grove High School, another athlete is Deuce Clement. Deuce is about five foot nine, five foot ten, about one eighty five. Quarterback for the team can play strong safety. Here's a kid that's been starting for four years for Oak Grove. We'll have a chance to lead them to a state championship again in 220. They won it in 219. Another under the radar, all Louisiana team north offensive guy as an athlete is Osman Admadu Idi from River Oaks. I hope I didn't butcher that name. It's just tough to pronounce. Six foot 194. Running back. 
Defensive back could be a really good, strong safety in college as a small school signee. Really good football player. Another player at Gina is Jadicus Johnson. Is big time player. He's five nine, about one sixty. This kid can really fly, people. He he's. This kid has got a lot of talent. He's just not a big guy. He's a great athlete. He's plays receiver, cornerback, kick returner, punt returner. He's a multi-sport athlete for the Gina, Gi Gina Giants. Last season, just in the last season, he had 12 catches, hit 21 tackles, four pass breakups. He's also the center fielder for the baseball team, and he's also the point guard on the basketball team. As of now, Gina, this Gina athlete has no top schools, but he loves LSU, grew up loving LSU. Another player. Our final athlete in the state for third team all Louisiana North is Shamar Williams from River Oaks, who's about 6'1", 175. I, I watched him play this year. He's got a lot of talent as a receiver, as a DB. Could be a safety, could be a flanker. Runs about a 4'6", 40, tall and lean and had a chance to really be a big kid. When we come back, we're going to talk about running backs for our third team, all Louisiana team, North offense. A lot of good running backs in the state that are underrated in North Louisiana. I hope you join the show. We'll be right back. Looking for a used car? Harvey Artos has three dealerships, which means three times the used vehicles. They've got everything from fuel-efficient compacts to luxury models, even hybrids, and certified pre-owned with a warranty. Check out John Harvey Toyota, Harvey Subaru, or Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City. Welcome back. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm Lee Burkeen, your host. We're talking about our all-Louisiana North team, third team. It's going to be a long show. There's a lot of kids, a lot of talent. It's a lot of work involved for me watching all these teams in the state and, and, look, and breaking down film and not just highlight tapes, full game tapes. These kids are deserving to be mentioned. I think they're, again, I, I think their coaches and parents appreciate it. Schools. A lot of people get a chance to, to learn more about the kids in the state, ex, you know, besides the national 300 guys. And we're going to talk running backs in this segment. Again, these are seniors only, no rankings, just it's our third team, all Louisiana team north. And running backs, a kid that I've liked for the last four years at Rayville High School is Jalen Quells. This kid is a tank. He's five foot seven, about 200, 205. I think he's got D1 talent. He's a kid that could go to a junior college and, and, and just tear it up. He could end up sitting out, going to a D1 as a walk-on and be a great starter. Could definitely be a 1AA starter. He plays quarterback for his team. He's a four-year starter. His power, vision, a burst. He's a big-time leader. He's the hardest worker on the team. He runs a legit 4.4540. And trust me, folks, he's all of that. He's a powerful kid. He plays quarterback because that's where they needed him, but he's a running back. He's really an all-state running back. Another running back that I like a lot in North Louisiana from Bolton High School's Jadarius Welch. He's the biggest leader on the team. He's also a big-time sleeper. It's his fourth year to start also in 2020. When a team needs a big play on third down and short, he's going to get the first down. He's just got a lot of heart. Runs a legit 4 6 40. He's a nice little burst that I've seen that he can run when he gets the ball. In 2019, he had 1,163 yards rushing and six touchdowns. He had a pretty good year this year. And he's also been the team's leading rusher for the past three seasons. He's a beast in the weight room, squatting 400 pounds, and he benches 280. Another great running back that I like, not a big guy, but has been really great for West Monroe High School, is Jerome Williams, five foot nine, about 180. Here's a kid who's got power, he's got speed, he's got vision, he's just not a big guy. 
But you have to be an Iron Man to get over 142 carries in this district that he plays in. That was his junior year, okay? He runs legit 4-5 in the 40. He's one of those throwback backs that, you know, the late Don Shouse had many of these guys in, in the West Monroe program over the years. He's an every down back. And just in 2019, he had over 1,330 yards, 1,330 yards, eight touchdowns. He averages in his career eight yards a carry. He likes basketball and track. He also plays those two sports at West Monroe, which is not shabby. I mean, that's a great school at all those different sports programs. Another great running back around Bossier City, Louisiana, out of airline is Rovell Young. This is a guy that I've watched for three years. He has power, his speed, 4'6 in the 40. He, he's got a lot, a little bit of a burst, too, when he hits the hole. Rovell is, you know, one of them guys that's quietly under, unknown to colleges. He's also in the track team. He's, he ran for 700 yards and 12 touchdowns in 2019. And here's, he's just a guy that colleges can get as a, as a big-time steal in, on the D2 or D3 level. Another great running back that I like is Taji Jones from Gina. 5'8", 188. Plays both sides of the football for Gina as a running back and a strong safety. On the defensive side of the ball, had 45 tackles and two interceptions just in 2019 alone. He's also a talented baseball player. He's, on the, he's a center fielder and left fielder for the school's baseball team. He, he wants to major in chemical engineering. His favorite NFL players were the, is the retired Ed Reed. He played at Destrehan High School at the University of Miami and the Baltimore Ravens. He's also a big fan of Jamal Adams, former LSU star that's with the Seattle Seahawks. His hobbies are studying film or training. Another sleeper at running back in Bossier City at Parkway is Anthony Watson. Really talented running back in an offense that likes to throw the ball a lot. More of a spread offense that he plays in, but when he gets the chance, he's got a chance to be a great small college running back and end up being a big time back. He runs a legit four five nine forty, has power. Five foot ten, two hundred ten pounds. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about fullbacks. That's right. These are the iron men that block and just pancake people all day long to make holes for make way for the running backs every now and then might get the ball you know might get the ball once a game you know to get a chance to run it we're going to be right back so hey guys just wanted to take a minute to tell you about harvey autos if you need a new or used car there's three great dealerships right here worth checking out john harvey toyota harvey subaru and lexus of shreveport bossier city low prices honest people Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. Today is our third team, all Louisiana team north offense. We're going to continue on with fullbacks. This is a position where guys just don't get a lot of respect. You know, like the late Rodney D Dangerfield, the comedian, he always said, I get no respect. I get no respect. This is this is a tough position, man. This is a tough where you got to be super strong, you got to be compact, you got to have some muscle on your frame, and you also got to be quick enough to run the ball when when needed. And one of my favorite fullbacks in North Louisiana is a kid by the name of Jordan Doty at Sterlington. He was at Bastrop High School, where I watched him when he started out as a freshman. Five foot eight, two hundred and twenty-five pounds of muscle. He's also a defensive starter for Sterlington. 49 tackles in 2019, had four forced fumbles, 18 quarterback hurries. His favorite NFL player is Patrick Queen with the Baltimore Ravens, former LSU football star who played at Livonia in high school, Livonia High School. Outside of football, his favorite hobby is to train extra. 
during the offseason. Coaches will love that. Jordan, extra work, makes great football players. Another great fullback who started his career off at St. Mary's High School in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Paul Messenger, who's now at Riverdale High School, an MAIS school. Paul is a very, very strong kid. He was a starter at St. Mary's in 219, also at fullback and linebacker. He was one of the best players on the St. Mary's team in 2019. Again, transferred to Riverdale Academy in 220. He's got interest from a few schools, Louisiana College, East Texas Baptist, and Mississippi College. In the weight room, he's super strong. He deadlifts 455 pounds. He's also on the basketball team and the powerlifting team for Riverdale. I like this kid a lot. He's very instinctive. He's super strong. I think he'd make a great Division II or Division III fullback or linebacker. Another great player as a blocker that I'll just love this guy is a tough guy named Micah Griffin from Winfield High School. Winfield High School. That's where A-Train Thomas, Anthony Thomas, played, the running back that went to Michigan and played for the Bears. Jeffrey Dale played at LSU, free safety. A lot of great players came out of Winfield. He doesn't run a fast 40 like most fullbacks, but he's a strong kid. And he plays defensive end for his team also. I love his blocking. He comes in and does his job. Another big-time fullback in North Louisiana is a kid by the name of Jalen Puckett from Madison. 5'9", 235 pounds. This guy's strong. Strong and tough. Plays fullback and linebacker for his team at Madison. He had 46 tackles on defense and four sacks in 2019, about the same in 220. He doesn't have any favorite schools, but he grew up loving LSU in Alabama. When not playing football, he enjoys playing basketball with his friends and also video games during his free time. His favorite NFL player is Drew Brees for the New Orleans Saints. Very strong in the weight room, squats 525 pounds. Another fullback that I like a lot, and I'm putting him at fullback. He plays linebacker for his team at Parkway in Bossier City, but I think he'd make a great fullback is Jaden Jones, about 5'11", about 215 in weight. But I think his wrestling background would make him a great fullback for college. Jaden Jones... He's one of the toughest kids in the state. He's also, like I said, he's on the wrestling team. He finished fifth in the state for wrestling in the middleweight division. And as a football player, he also played offensive line in 2019 because they had so many injuries on the team, they needed him there. He grew up a big-time LSU fan. Another fullback that I like from the same high school at Parkway in Bossier City, he's also a linebacker. He could play either one in college, but I like him as a fullback. Connor Norcross. He's a guy that's that's you know runs probably around a four seven nine forty. Pretty active in 2019. Had 83 tackles, 25 solo, one interception, and four sacks. His favorite linebacker is not a surprise. Devin White, who played at Northwestern, the old Spring Hill High School. And he has an impressive 350-pound bench press and a 525-pound squat max. He also enjoys playing video games, the Madden video game, and he intends on majoring in biology in college. Tough kid. This Connor Norcross, tough, tough kid. He's 5'9", 5'10", about 215, 220. Tough kid. I think he would be a great, great football player at the D2 or D3 level and could walk on one double-A and start at some point. Another, another big-time fullback is Blake Tarver 
from Faraday High School. I've seen this kid play for four years. He's a tight end, really, for them, but he's only he's about 6'1", about 2'10". Tough. Tough. What I like about Blake is he's just, everything he does is tough. When he blocks, he's tough. When he plays linebacker for his team, he's a phenomenal player. He runs about a 4'7", 9'40". He started as a true freshman for Faraday High School. As both a fullback and a linebacker. And a tight end. He helped his program, Faraday, to a state championship in 2019. He had 12 catches for almost 200 yards in 219. And on defense, he had 80 tackles, 17 tackles for loss. Power cleans, 235. Squats, 405. He's also on the basketball team at Faraday. In his first scholarship offer, I think this is D3 school, East Central University. Another big-time fullback in Mansfield High School around Shreveport, Demontre Mitchell. Big-time blocker, 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", about 225 pounds. This guy is like a tank. He's very tough. I've watched this kid two years in a row. He's not tall, but he actually has 4'7 speed in the 40. He's one of the best players on the football team. He wants to go to a place like McNeese State, he's quoted as saying, or LSU. What he's looking for in a college that will bring out my best and help further my education, is he's quoted as saying. He wants to major in computer engineering or physical therapy, and he's super strong. He squats 465 pounds in the weight room. When not playing football, he enjoys playing basketball, and his favorite NFL player is J.J. Wyatt. J.J. Wyatt of the Houston Texans, who played at Wisconsin. Big defensive end, future Hall of Famer. Big-time player. Another fullback in North Louisiana from Riverfield Academy is Balian Sorensen. He had 158 tackles in 2019. That's incredible. Has a lot of moxie and heart. I've seen the kid play. He can bench press 330 pounds, squat almost 500. He's quoted as saying he'd love to go to Division I somehow, even if, if he walks on. But I think Balin would be a great fullback in college or linebacker at a small school. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about wide receivers in the state, slot, re slot receivers for North Louisiana, third team, all Louisiana, North third team offense. we got a lot more to talk about. This is going to take a lot more. It, this might be a two-hour show when we're finished, but I'm, I'm glad to do it. I hope you're enjoying it. We'll be right back. Parents, are you looking for advice on getting your high school athlete recruited by the right college? Lee Brakeen is your answer. Lee has been doing it for over 30 years. He knows the ropes and more importantly, he knows the people. Lee offers turnkey service from evaluation, creating highlight tapes in the correct format and complete guidelines for effective communication with the schools. No matter the sport, girl or boy, no matter what grade your child is in, let Lee Brakeen help match your child to the right college fit. Go to our website, lafootballmagazine.com, and get connected today. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen, and today's show we're talking about the all-Louisiana team, North, third team, offense. And we're going to continue on. We just talked about fullbacks on offense. Now we're going to talk about slot receivers. What are slot receivers? These are the guys that are usually around 5'7", 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 5 that are usually your biggest playmakers that go in motion and catch passes underneath and break them for long runs. And They're your shorter receivers, the guys that can run. They're nimble. They could be running backs. They can do it all. And there's a lot of these guys in Louisiana that are 5'7", 5 5'8", 5 5 some 5'10". And believe it or not, the slot receiver position, you're up to about six foot tall in college. You could even be 6'1". They used Justin Jefferson 
at LSU as a slot receiver, and Justin was six foot two. He's doing a great job, by the way, for the Minnesota Vikings. We're going to start with our slot receivers for North Louisiana, and the first kid we're going to talk about is a kid by the name of Gage East from Houghton High School. Houghton's close to Bossier City. Gage is 5'7", 185 pounds. And what I like about Gage, he's super tough, super strong, and he can run a 4 five forty. He's very good hands, too, on top of that. But he looks faster in the field because he knows how to run, and he runs great routes. I think he'd be a great D3 signee or D2. Another kid around the Shreveport area from Menden High School is Parker Hall. This kid's a big playmaker for Menden. I've seen, I've seen this. He had 24 catches in 2019, 447 yards and three touchdowns. He averaged 18 yards a catch. And he's having a great senior season. He likes LSU, Louisiana Tech, Tulane, and ULM. He wants to major in radiology or education. He loves Julian Edelman. That's his idol from the New England Patriots, who played at Kent State, by the way, as a quarterback. He also enjoys fishing and hunting and playing video games. He runs a 4.58 in the 40. He's going to be a big-time player if he goes to a small college somewhere. Somebody gives him a chance. Another great slot receiver at Neville High School in Monroe is Ben Crawford. Ben goes about 5'10", about 170, 175. Ben's just a tough kid that can run. I mean, he, he gets overlooked in the recruiting scene because he's not a big guy, but he runs a legit 4'6 in the 40. He's a big leader. He's a two-year starter. And he's a great blocker. I like how he blocks. He didn't get the ball a lot as a receiver, but, man, when he catches it and they throw it to him, he does a great job. He has a 3.8 GPA and over a 25 on the ACT. And he's got a few schools that he likes. He likes Naval Academy, LSU, Oregon, Colorado, Wyoming, Appalachian State, Arizona State, Utah, Idaho, Montana, and UNLV as schools that maybe he would even walk on to or just go to college. He wants to pursue a degree in legal studies once in college. His hobbies are soccer and golf. He also likes cooking, kayaking, playing pickup basketball, and weightlifting. Kid's got a lot of hobbies. Speaking of weightlifting, he can bench press 225 pounds, squat 330, and power clean 275. His favorite player in the NFL is Malcolm Perry with the Dolphins. You know, that's, that's I don't even know who Malcolm Perry was. He played for Navy. I had to look it up. Ben likes Navy. You know, he might end up with the Navy, Navy Academy. He mentioned it in, the, uh, in this interview. Another great, I think, slot receiver for college, but he's a quarterback for his high school, is Caldwell High School, Jaron Townsend. Here's a kid who's a, got a, he's a great athlete for Caldwell. Great athlete. Runs about a four. I'd say he's a four six, but he looks faster on the field. He was the district MVP in 3A in his district in 2019. He's going to have a chance to be a, one of those this year again in 220. He has a powerful leg as a punter. He averages 40 yards a punt. He has no top colleges, but he does like his favorite player in the NFL is Jarvis Landry with the Cleveland Browns, played at LSU. And by the way, Jarvis Landry played at Lutcher High School in high school. He also plays baseball for his school. He'll have a chance to play baseball in college. He power cleans 270 pounds and squats 330 pounds. I think this kid would make a great slot receiver in college. Another great player is Terrence Isaac Jr. from Green Oaks in Shreveport, six foot, 165 pounds. He's the coach's son, the head coach's son, and he's done a great job. Terrence Isaac is on a team that has five Division I wide receivers. <laughs> is that amazing? He runs a legit 4-5 in the 40. He'll get bigger in college, I think. 
He was very productive. Get this. They have four of the D1 receivers. He had 41 catches in 2019, 700 yards, and five touchdowns. He has offers from Southern Miss and Illinois State. Quote, he's looking for a family atmosphere and a great education. Isaac said when asked about what he looks for when choosing a school. He squats 485 pounds, power cleans 305. His dad is the head coach, Terrence Isaac Sr. He also is on the track and field team, powerlifting team. I like this. His hobbies, he said, is reading the Bible, fishing, and playing video games. Look out for this name one day, Terrence Isaac Jr. from Green Oaks High School. Another slot receiver that I like a lot. He's a super tough kid from Caldwell High School. Bobby Meredith. Bobby's about six foot, about 180 pounds. He got hurt last year as a junior. He tore his ACL, but he came back this year 100%, looked really good. Runs about a 4'6 in the 40. I think he's a super player. He's got great hands. Would make a great D3 or D2 receiver. Could walk on one double A. Another slot receiver I like is Elijah Roshan from Houghton High School. 5'9", about 165. He's got great speed, 4'6 in the 40, really good hands. Another slot receiver that's a good player under the radar is from West Monroe High School, Matt McAllister. 5'11", 181 pounds, run the 4, 5, and the 40. Could go to a small college and do really well. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about wide receivers. We just talked about slot receivers. When we come back, we're going to talk about wide receivers, some of the taller kids that will make great wide outs on our third team, all Louisiana North team in North Louisiana. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. We're going to continue our North Louisiana third team offense. For North Louisiana, these are seniors only. There's no star rankings. It's just putting everybody on a team. These are kids mostly that are going to be Division three guys. Division two. some could go 1AA. Some are going to go maybe walk on D1 in the end. Or maybe even junior colleges. We're going to continue on with our third team, uh, Y receivers. Our first kid we're going to talk about. It's a guy that I've had a chance to see play a couple of years in a row from Tioga, who's had one of the best offenses in North Louisiana. He's out of the Alexandria area, Tioga High School. His name is Ethan Chrisman. Ethan is a lunchbox kind of guy. You know, you can tell he's a coach's son. His, his dad's a coach on the staff. His big-time hands. Deceptive speed. But I think he's one of the best sleepers in the state because he brings it. You know, he brings it. He's 6'1", 175 pounds. You know, in, in, in 29 games in his career, prior to his senior year, he had 96 catches and 16 touchdowns. That's pretty impressive. He always grew up loving LSU. It's his favorite team. He also likes McNeese, ULM, and Northwestern State. He's not, he's not sure what he's going to study in college, but he's leaning towards engineering. His final, excuse me, his favorite NFL player is Christian McCaffrey with the Carolina Panthers, played at Stanford. I remember watching Christian's dad play for the Denver Broncos. That's how old I'm getting, like a lot of us. He's got the tools to be a great player, I think, in college. Another receiver that's way under the radar at Mansfield High School is Joshua Ford. I've been watching this kid play for two years. He's a basketball player still learning the game of football. If he can put it all together at the next level, he's got a chance to be a great player. He just hasn't put it all together. He's 6'3", about 185 pounds, and he can run. He can do it all. He just has to put it all together. Runs about a 4'6 in the 40, big, tall kid. He's probably going to be about 205 pounds, 200 pounds when he fills out. 
Another kid similar to Joshua Ford that I like at Airline High School in Bossier City is a kid by the name of Delvin Bilbo. I watched Devin, excuse me, Devin Bilbo play his sophomore year. He was 6'3 then, about 170. Now he's about 185. I went to a football practice at Airline High School, and he caught my eye in practice when he was just a sophomore. He's got a lot of talent. He just has to put it all together. He has 4.5940 speed. He's a long kid. He had 30 catches in 219 and four touchdowns. His quarterback's one of the best quarterbacks in North Louisiana, Alex Garcia, that throws him the ball. His top schools right now are LSU, ULM, and ULL. He'll probably have to go to a smaller college. When not playing football, the, the, he also is a basketball player, and he also runs track for the school. He's a tall, fast kid. He's got a lot of talent. Another kid I like, he's a coach's son. From Ruston High School, his kid's name is Jackson Procell. His dad is Scott Abernathy former longtime head coach at North DeSoto, who was at Ruston last year. This year he's at Huntington High School. Jackson's missed some of this season this year as a senior, but he's just a great possession receiver that's got deceptive speed. He's 6'2", about 175. He's been around football and baseball his whole life. He likes Louisiana Tech and ULL. Good kid, very mature kid. His favorite NFL players are, are Adam Thielen from the Minnesota Vikings, who played at Minnesota State, by the way, and Tom Brady. Go Blue, Michigan, who was with the Patriots for, seems like, 40 years, now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. His favorite college players are, other than Derek Stingley, LSU, played at Dunham. Jamar Chase, the former Archbishop Rommel star who sat out this year for LSU, will be a star in the NFL. Another great receiver that I like out of Neville High School in Monroe. I like this kid a lot. He's very tall. He has a lot of ability. He still hasn't really hit his full upside, which is really a credit to his ability for the future. His name is Bill Quarius Goodwin. 6'3", 178 pounds. It's his first year to start at Neville. You wait your turn at Neville. They had five seniors ahead of him in 2019. He has a lot of ability. Can run a 4 5 40. He's got a lot of room to grow. He's 178 pounds, but I think he's going to be way bigger in college. I think wherever he goes, he can end up being a D1 guy if he walked on 1AA. He can end up being a big-time player once he fills out. Another player like that? Is out of Woodlawn High School in Shreveport, Tyrone Montgomery. I've seen this kid play for two years. I think he's definitely a 1AA steal. Could be a D1 guy. 6'2", 175 pounds, runs a 4, 5, and a 40, has good hands. Big kid. He's going to be a big, big kid when he fills out. He likes Alabama, Mississippi State, and SMU. He says, quote, what I'm looking for in choosing a college is the housing options, the campus size, the graduation rate clubs, and the spirit of the campus. It's a great quote. I think the kid's a big-time player. When we come back, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about tight ends. Another position not a lot of people talk about, but tight ends. A lot of good tight ends in North Louisiana. We'll be right back. Looking for a used car? Harvey Autos has three dealerships, which means three times the used vehicles. They've got everything from fuel-efficient compacts to luxury models, even hybrids, and certified pre-owned with a warranty. Check out John Harvey Toyota, Harvey Subaru, or Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Keen. We're going to be continuing on with our all Louisiana team, North offense, third team, tight ends. I'm going to start with Ty Shelton from Parkway High School in Bossier City, Louisiana. Ty is a tough guy. He's a great blocker. He's big time in the weight room, 500-pound squat. Plays linebacker for Parkway, a little bit of DN, a little bit of tight end. 
He's a raw kid for tight end, but I think he could be a great tight end, just work on his hands a little bit, but a big, tough guy. Bench is 285, hand cleans 265. Growing up, he loves the LSU Tigers. Here's a kid I'm going to move to tight end. He's really an offensive lineman at Houghton High School, Tyler Vogan. Tyler's almost six foot seven. He weighs about 220. If he moves to tight end, he doesn't get, need to gain more weight. But if he stays at tackle, he would have to gain another 50 pounds. But Tyler's actually got good feet as an offensive tackle. He's just very lean. But I think he could be a tight end, and, be, and if he could learn how to catch the ball, he could be a great blocking tight end. He could end up being about 250 and being a tight end. I mean, a kid runs a 4 8 40. I think he'd be a steal at the D3 or D2 level. He was an all-district blocker in 2019 for Houghton. He's a strong kid. He squats 330 pounds. He cleans 230. He would like to play for Louisiana Tech because it's close to home. And, or any school that would give him a chance or, give, or offer him a chance to play football. When not playing football, he enjoys playing basketball or pickup games with his friends. Another player that I like a lot. He could be a linebacker at a small school, but I like him as a tight end. Jackson Cuthbert from Cedar Creek High School, about 6'2", about 205. Tough guy, tough guy, real strong kid. I like his game, man. He plays full throttle. He's always tough on defense, and he would make a great tight end. He's really a receiver for them, but he's a big guy. Another guy I like is Eddie Turner, a tight end, a late bloomer from Caldwell High School. Eddie goes about 6'1", 6'2", about 2'10". Great blocker. And he can run. has good hands. Another diamond in the rough is a tight end. From Jonesboro Hodge, from Jonesboro Hodge High School is Connor Webb. Here's a four-year starter. This kid's 6'2", 210 pounds. He's a four-year starter. I love his leadership. I love how he's been so mature to come in as a 14-year-old and start as a freshman for them. And he's done a phenomenal job for Jonesboro Hodge High School, which is a very young team. That's where Charles Scott played, former LSU running back, and several uh, – Norman Bradford, if you might remember him, was a running back back in the day, was a great player. Norman was about 6'2", 225, and, and then Charles Scott. They had a ton of receivers signed scholarships in the 80s and 90s from Jonesboro Hodge. A lot of them went to ULM, Grambling, and Louisiana Tech. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about offensive tackles. Offensive tackles for all Louisiana North third team. We'll be right back. So, hey, guys, just wanted to take a minute to tell you about Harvey Autos. If you need a new or used car, there's three great dealerships right here worth checking out. John Harvey Toyota, Harvey Subaru, and Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City. Low prices, honest people. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. We're talking about our all-Louisiana North third-team offense. Seniors only. No star rankings. Just putting these kids on a team. Mention. I just think we should talk about these kids. They deserve it. These are guys that you don't read about on the Internet. These are guys you don't read about, you know, on TV. You don't read about them. But they're great high school football players. A lot of them can play D3 or D2 in college. Some of these kids might end up signing one AA scholarship. Some of them might walk on D1. Some might go to junior colleges. But they deserve mentioning. They're great high school football players. Again, some of these guys are going to be stars in college. Some of them will be. And some will not play college football. Some will decide just to go to college, which is okay. We're going to continue on with play, uh, talking about offensive tackles. One guy I like, and I think he could be a 1AA signee. He's got D1 stuff, too. He's a sleeper. I like this kid a lot at Union Parish High School. Jack Monk, 6'5", 270. Once he puts it all together, I think he could be a heck of a player. I think he could be a pro guy. He's all muscle, big guy, just still learning the position. 
I call it country strong, man. This guy can, can move a building. I saw him in 2019 and this year. He's super strong. He just needs to learn the position. He could be a special player once he figures it out. Another tackle in North Louisiana from Vidalia High School. Rakarian McMillan, 6'4", 265, 270. It's a guy that's got the size. He's just very raw. Much of a late bloomer. His junior year was really his first year to play and start. He was awarded the team's coaches award for standing out as a leader in 2019. He's quoted as saying, I don't have any top schools, but would like to get in touch with some Division II schools, Division Three. He's looking for strong relationships with coaches, teammates, a good positive environment. That's a good quote. He wants to study pre-law in college. Smart kid. He bench presses 350 pounds. His favorite NFL player is Aaron Donald. Los Angeles Rams D-tackle who prepped at Pittsburgh College. He also likes Travis Kelsey, tight end with the Kansas City Chiefs, who played where? University of Cincinnati. When not playing football, he enjoys his free time by working out and spending time with his family. He's a big kid. He's going, he could be around 285 when he gets to college and be a big-time player, I think, at the 1AA level. We're going to continue on talking about the offensive line. We're going to now talk about offensive guards, a guy that I like a lot, and we're going to stay with Vidalia High School, Daniel Hartwell, 6'3", 275. Daniel's a big guy, big country strong guy. That's Man, he's got a great frame. He's got good feet. He's a big leader. He's been starting since his sophomore year in high school. He likes LSU, ULM, and Northwestern State. He's going to major in computer science. Smart kid. Smart kid. He also likes Aaron Donald from Los Angeles Rams. A lot of people like this kid out of Vidalia High School. Um, he's one of the strongest players on the team. Benches 315, power cleans 435. On defense, he had three sacks and 26 tackles. He had about six sacks in the last two years. An offensive guard from C.E. Bird High School in Shreveport, I like this kid, Bobby Simpson. He is strong. Man, he's one of the reasons Bird has a chance to win a state title this year. We're talking about a kid that's 5'11", 295, all muscle. Strong, super strong upper body and lower body. He's a very unique kid that has good feet, and he's tough. And he's a, he's his athletic. You can tell that he he's a wrestler. That's his background. You can tell that when he gets his hands on you, it's over. In in 2019, as a, on the wrestling team in the heavyweight division, Bobby finished second in the city of Shreveport, second in the regionals and seventh in the state of Louisiana for his weight class. I think Bobby would be a 1AA starter. He might could even be a D1 walk-on starter at some point. He's got that determination and that ability to be that good. He likes Louisiana Tech, Northwestern State, and LSU. Quote Bobby saying to us, what I am looking for in a college is where I can be successful academically while being an athlete. Quote, he plans on majoring in aerospace engineering or accounting. He's a super smart kid. He likes the Green Bay Packers, and as a result, his favorite player is the, you got it, Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Another kid that I like is an offensive guard out of West Washita High School in Monroe, Cameron Smith, 6'2", 280. West Washita has got a big offensive line, a lot of big kids that are underrated this year. Cameron is one of those guys. Cameron has good feet. He's a late bloomer. Squats 500 pounds. He likes LSU, Louisiana Tech, and ULM of Monroe. He's quoted as saying, I'm looking for a successful football career and a good education. Another kid that I like as an offensive guard, from the Shreveport area, from Glenbrook High School, a MAIS school, 
That's coached by David Feaster. Colton born along. Colton 6'4", about 310 pounds. He's a transfer from Parkway High School. Colton's a big kid. He has a lot of raw ability that he could put it all together at the next level. He just turned 17 years old this summer. He benches 345. He squats 445. He can power clean 245. Colton is quoted as saying us, I'm looking for a college that has a great program, great surroundings in it, as well as solid coaching. When he, when he goes to college, he wants to major in sports medicine. His favorite player in college is Terrace Marshall, another shreveport Bossier City native from Parkway High School in LSU. He also likes Bobby Wagner with the Seattle Seahawks. Bobby played for Utah State in college. Another player as an offensive guard that I like as a sleeper from West Washita and Monroe is Jordan Wolf, 6'3", 260. He missed most of the last two years of football because of injuries. He missed a lot of 19 and a lot of 218. But he runs a 5'2 in the 40. He has great feet. And he's a guy under the radar because he hadn't played a lot. He's a big kid that can move. Another guy I like at Union Parish, man, Union Parish has a big offensive line, is Robert Medina, 6'4", 275. Robert has a lot of abilities, very raw. This will be his second year to start. Excuse me, his first year to start overall. He played a lot in 219. He moved to Louisiana from Nebraska. He has good feet because of his old soccer days as a soccer player. Another player that I like a lot as an offensive guard is Gavin Anderson from Grant High School around Alexandria, Grant High School. Gavin's about 6'2", 290. He's one of the best O-linemen in the Sinlaw Parish area in 2020. Strong in the weight room. Power cleans 255 and squats 435. He credits his ability in the weight room for being on the powerlifting team. He likes Tulane, LSU, Louisiana Tech, ULL, Holy Cross College, and Northwestern State. He's quoted as saying, I'm looking for a university that has an intensity of spirit in Louisiana or the southern United States. I'm looking for an amazing football program with great coaches, engaging curriculum, and a high graduation rate. Go ahead. He works at his local pizza hut as, a, as well as participates in a youth group at his local church. And a lot of kids are saying their favorite player is Aaron Donald from the Los Angeles Rams. That's his favorite player. And he grew up liking LSU. Another player I like a lot who I think would be an offensive guard in college, he would be a sleeper one double-A guy, is Isaiah Silas. 6'3", 275 from Pineville High School. I like this kid. He plays tackle for his team. He's a late bloomer with size and good feet. He's put up some impressive numbers in the weight room, too. He, he power cleans 255. He squats 370. He benches almost 300, and he runs a 5'5 five, five in the 40. He's open with colleges. He's, he has no favorite colleges. He would be a great steal, I think, one double A. Another player that I like as an offensive guard for college is Mason Bordelon. He's a big kid from West Monroe High School. Mason is six foot three hundred and thirty pounds. He's a late bloomer. Mike can learn the center position in college. But he's a tough kid, big guy. Mason's a tough kid for them. He's one of their better O linemen this year, and that's not their strength this year, but we're gonna mention another one of their O linemen before the show's over today. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about centers for college for our all-Louisiana North third-team offense centers. These are guys that have to be the smart guys on the O-line. they got to call all the signals. They don't have to be the tallest guys in the world. They just have to have great feet, smart, and be quick off the ball. We'll be right back. Parents, are you looking for advice on getting your high school athlete recruited by the right college? Lee Brakeen is your answer. 
Lee has been doing it for over 30 years. He knows the ropes, and more importantly, he knows the people. Lee offers turnkey service from evaluation, creating highlight tapes in the correct format, and complete guidelines for effective communication with the schools. No matter the sport, girl or boy, no matter what grade your child is in, let Lee Brakeen help match your child to the right college fit. Go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com, and get connected today. Welcome back. You'll listen to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. I hope you're enjoying the show today. We're talking about our all-Louisiana North third team offense. Just North Louisiana, just seniors only. We don't say these in order of ranking. I know parents sometimes think if we say their son first, it's because they were ranked higher, and there's none of that today. We're just doing it by position, no rankings. Um, these are kids, again, that can go D2 or D3 mostly. Some of these guys are 1AA guys, and some have D1 talent. And some are going to go to junior colleges. We're going to continue on with centers. You know, centers on the offensive line. There's some good centers in North Louisiana. Our first kid that we're going to talk about is from North DeSoto High School, Colin McDaniel. He's really a guard for them. But Colin goes about 6'2", about 235, 240, very tough kid, very good feet. I think he's going to get bigger and bigger once he gets to college. You know, Colin's a guy that, that just his toughness and his strength and his desire is going to make him successful, I think, in college. You know, Colin McDaniel's a good blocker when he started as a tight end, and that's what made him a good offensive lineman. He also is a defensive end for his team, but I think he's more suited for offensive line on the college level. Another kid from C.E. Bird High School is a kid by the name of Michael Jenkins. Michael's a great football player for C.E. Bird. It's one of the reasons why Bird could have a, a state title this year. They're great offensive line. He plays offensive tackle for his team, but I like this kid as a center because he's tough, he's quick. And he's got the feet to do it. He's got, they're one of the best offensive lines in North in the state, actually. He likes LSU, Grambling, Texas, and Mississippi State. He plans on majoring in criminal justice. In the weight room, he benches about 230. He's, he's, he's going to get stronger. He power cleans about 230. And his favorite NFL player is J.J. Wyatt from the Houston Texans. <clears throat> Excuse me. Continuing on at center is a kid I love. He's on the t he's on this team because I just like him. I don't know if he'll play college ball. He could at a D three school. His name is Ethan Nippers. Excuse me, Ethan. I can't even pronounce his kid's name. <laughs> Please don't get mad at me if I butcher. But Ethan Nippers, I think it's like. Uh, but six foot two thirty out of Manny. This kid is a big-time football player. Ethan's been playing for Manny for four years. It's hard to do. And they run the ball, which you got to be tough. You're blocking every play for the run. I think he's the toughest kid on the team. <clears throat> he's the most athletic lineman on the team. He runs about a 4.8940. He's not a big guy. But he's a three-year starter overall. And if he wants to play college ball, he'll probably have to gain about 20 pounds, which is okay. You don't have to be big to be a center, but he'll have to gain a little weight if he wants to do that. I just He's on the team. Ethan's on the team because he's just a tough kid. He's a great player, great kid. A center, another kid from Menden High School. His name is Chance Hammonds. I like this kid's feet, his effort. I like how he can pull on, on run plays. He's going to have to put more weight on in college if he chooses to play college ball. He's 6'2", about 225, 230. But he runs about a 4'8'9", 4'9", 40. He's just a tough kid. Another kid I think would make a great center in college at West Washita High School is Blake Balsamo. Blake is uh, 6'2", 252. A tough kid under the radar. They got a lot of underrated kids on their offensive line at West Wachita that I've watched the last two years. He's an offensive tackle for his team, 
and an offensive guard. His good feet runs about a 5 3 40. And he only played seven games in 219. He, this year he's had a great year. He's a strong kid. He likes ULM, Louisiana Tech, and ULL. He's quoted as saying, I'm looking for a great atmosphere that profiles students and has teachers who care. Great quote. In the weight room, he benches 300, squats 465, and power cleans 265. His favorite college player is Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame. He plays for the Colts. Another great player that I like. He's on this team just because I like him. Not so much that he, he can play D3 ball if he wants. There's a kid by the name of Jace Miley from St. Mary's in Natchitoches. I think Jace is a heck of a lineman. 5'10", about 269 pounds. Very strong, massive legs. He squats 500 pounds in the weight room. Jace is a powerful kid. He can play all five spots in high school. Very strong. He's a three-year starter. He's graded out 79% in blocking in his career. He's also received the Al Prudhomme Scholarship Award that is, you know, and he's been invited to the Hawaii Tiki Bowl. <clears throat> Pretty neat stuff. He's also a team captain. He's on the powerlifting team, and he also is the first baseman in baseball. He might be the biggest first baseman in the state of Louisiana. His dad comes from Mobile, Alabama, and the family grew up watching the Alabama Crimson Tide, his top schools. He likes Louisiana College, East Texas Baptist. And Mississippi College, he's quoted as saying to us, I'm looking for a college where I can continue my athletic, academic career and be a part of the community. He's also looking to earn his master's degree in sports management when he enrolls in college. When he's not playing football, <clears throat> he can either be powerlifting, playing baseball, hunting, or fishing. He grew up liking Dak Prescott from Halton High School, former Mississippi State quarterback, and now the current Dallas Cowboys quarterback. He's a big-time player. Another kid that's on this team because I'll, I just love his effort. I love his toughness. He'll be a, a good D3 signee is E.J. Anderson from Oak Grove High School. E.J.'s about 5'9", 10", about 260, powerful, strong. They run the ball a lot. He's one of their – I mean, if he was 6'1", he'd be a national recruit. I think he's a big-time player. I mean, he paved the way for two 1,000 rushers in 19 and, and this year in 220. He was a crucial part of the state championship run in 2019 blocking. He benches uh, 240 pounds. He squats about 240. He runs a 4.9 in the 40. He has an offer from Louisiana College. In college, he's quoted as saying, I'm looking for a school that would be a great fit for me getting my construction management degree. There you go. When not playing football, he also plays basketball and throws for his track team. He's a very bright kid. He's also one of the school's beta club members. Another player that I like as a center, a North Louisiana kid, is Shavis Williams from Parkway, six foot three hundred. I think he's got a lot of a lot of talent. He's just not tall, but he's big guy, strong. I think he could be a, a, a starter for a lot of one double A schools if he was a walk on or even D two or D three. Another kid, a diamond in the rough that I saw play this year from Delta Charter, is Luke Roberson, six one two forty. Good feet. Also a defensive tackle for his team, but I think he'd make a great center in college. <clears throat> Another center that I like that I think could be a great player in college as a center, he was a linebacker. Get this, he was a linebacker in 2019. And they moved him to O-line this year because they didn't have hardly any O-linemen on the team at West Monroe High School. Ty T.Y. Titus, six foot 235. Ty has really come on at center for them. I like the kid. He runs about a 4840 because of his linebacker days. And he's got so much talent there. He can end up being about 260, 250 with good feet and be a steal for one double A D1 school, maybe as a walk on. He gained 20 pounds of muscle just to move to O line in the offseason for this year. He's also a baseball player. 
which it's not easy to play baseball for West Monroe. You got to be pretty good. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about kickers and long snappers. Some of the best players in North Louisiana. We'll we'll be right back. Although we're about to wrap up our all North Louisiana second and third team podcast breakdowns, you can always listen and go back to hear all of our all North Louisiana team selection podcast breakdowns on our website, which is at www.lafootballmagazine.com and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Finally, make sure to visit our website tomorrow where we will release our list featuring the second and third All-South Louisiana team. That website, again, is lafootballmagazine.com. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I am Lee Burkeen, your host. We're continuing on to talk about our All-Louisiana team, third team, North offense. We're going to talk about kickers in this segment, kickers and long snappers. These guys don't get any... Attention, Harley, and these—you know—these are the sleeper guys that nobody really talks about. Uh, most of the guys today, actually. And before we talk about kickers and long snappers, I want to mention everybody. That all the kids that I'm talking about today, most of them, are in our preview magazine that came out this September. You can still get copies on our website. Be sure to support us, and and it helps the kids and the schools, but go to our website, lafootballmagazine.com, to order a North copy or a South copy. You can still get those issues, and these kids are in the issue. This is a printed version, not on the Internet. You can get it a digital copy you can order, or you can order a hard copy that would be delivered to you. Um, that's lafootballmagazine.com, and we're going to talk about kickers this segment. And the first guy I want to talk about is a sleeper by the name of Cade Smith from Union Parish High School, which is in Farmerville, not far from Ruston, Louisiana. Made second team all district in 2019. I think he's going to be on his uh, way for either that or better th in 220. Um, he made six of ten field goal attempts. He's got the leg to be even better than that for college. And on defense, he had 20 tackles. I mean, he's a big-time athlete. He played safety, played a little linebacker. I just like the kid. He's gritty. He's a you know he's a tough guy playing kicker. He's quoted as saying, "I'd like to go to a college close to home if possible." That, and he wants to that offers engineering. He's a tough kid. He squats three hundred twenty five pounds. Not a lot of kickers can do that. He's also a pitcher on the baseball team. Off the field, Kate Smith's also with the Beta Club. And and this is an interesting stat. He's in the top three in the state and top eight in the nation in woodworking. That's pretty neat. The Union Parish Renaissance man is also enjoys hunting and fishing during his spare time and his favorite college or NFL player of his. He doesn't really have one, but he loves and enjoys the game of football. I think Kate Smith could be a big-time sleeper kicker for many Division three or Division two programs. He's got a 1AA leg. Another kicker that I like a lot that's come on his senior year is Carter Jensen from Houghton High School, 6'3", 200 pounds, big guy. Got a cannon leg. Very good leg, and I think he could be a great kicker for a lot of 1AA schools, actually. I think he could be a D1 guy if he walked on. Another kicker that I like a lot that's come on his senior year is the only year to start at Pineville High School. Pineville High School. Around Alexandria, Landon Ulrich. Landon, 5'10", about 185, has had an incredible senior year for Pineville. First year to start, only one year. I mean, you know, those guys are sleepers when they only have a year to do it. Moving to long snappers. These are guys that, again, don't get a lot of attention or pub. Because you don't even know who's snapping the ball when you see a field goal or an extra point. <laughs> now I do because I'm scouting. You know, being a scout, I'll watch to see how they're doing this. But some of the better ones in North Louisiana, I'm going to start with Timothy Thomas from Red River. He's an offensive lineman for Red River, but he's a great long snapper at 6'2", 275 pounds. We've talked about Timothy on the show before as an offensive lineman making one of our all-Louisiana teams. 
but he made this team today as a long snapper. Another long snapper that I like a lot is, is from St. Mary's High School, Andrew Godfrey. Andrew's about 6'1", 180. He's also a defensive back for the team and a receiver. He's a very athletic kid. And I think he does a great job. I think he's a 1AA guy that could walk on or Division two or three. Could be maybe D1 or 1AA as a long snapper. He's also a baseball kid. I hope everybody enjoyed the show today. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of information. And that completes our third team, all Louisiana North team for North Louisiana. And Wednesday's show, tomorrow we'll have a, we might have a guest. If not, we will be talking LSU football, Tulane, Louisiana Tech, and ULL. Uh, I'll give my two cents or three cents about, the, about LSU's future in football. Uh, what's going to happen the rest of the season? Recruiting, I think, for them. We're going to talk about LSU recruiting. It's going to be mainly just about LSU and Tulane Tech and ULL. Uh, we might have a guest. We might have a surprise guest. And then Thursday, we'll start with our second team, all Louisiana team, South Offense, which is going to be a lot. And we'll continue that for the next two weeks for the second team and third team for South Louisiana. Again, hope everybody enjoys the show. Uh, hope everybody has a great Tuesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brookings.